My panel discussed the financing of what you might call the new renewable technologies. So we focused on things like offshore wind, battery storage and biomethane. Delighted to be here today at this event. For me, it's all about back to basics. What is required to finance these large capital projects? You need certainty of delivery, you need certainty of revenue stream and you need an ability to identify and mitigate risks. And if policymakers can crack those three key issues, we'll have a thriving offshore wind industry in Ireland. Ireland's renewable energy rollout has been a tremendous success and today has been about discussing how we continue that rollout and that trajectory whilst also enabling the other technologies such as balancing the intermittency of renewable energy, keeping the grid stable but also enabling abatement of other sectors with the likes of hydrogen. We had a lot of interaction from the audience, a lot of really interesting questions and it just demonstrates the interest that's there in the market, the knowledge, the experience. So for me, the delivery of the 2030 renewable gas targets is actually achievable. It's clear we need policy to try and make this happen, but I think with that we can have a really vibrant and successful industry. We've learned from the past in terms of how the renewable electricity sector has worked and I believe we really can build on that. My key takeaway from the panel this morning is that if we're going to deliver on this energy transition, we're going to have to do a lot more of the same, but also focus on other areas such as interconnection, hydrogen and battery storage. For me, it's the fact that the jurisdictions around us have found ways to get through all the hurdles to financing these new types of renewable technologies. Ireland can do the same, it's just a question of grasping the nettle and resolving the various risks that currently stand in our way. It's been a really great opportunity to engage here with the industry, talk about what are the things that are working well, some of the pinch points that we need to enable these new technologies that we spoke about on the panel, and perhaps even see what we can learn from other markets to enable this Irish energy transition as efficiently as possible.